An Israeli airstrike has killed three sons of Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh in Gaza. The Israeli military confirmed the attack and said the three men were operatives in Hamas's military wing. Media reports say some of Haniyeh's grandchildren were also killed in the strike. He accused Israel of acting in the spirit of revenge and murder and said Hamas would not give in to pressure on his family. Earlier, we asked DW's Amin Isif in Jerusalem what role Ismail Haniyeh plays in the war and what effect the killings may have on the ongoing ceasefire negotiations. Well, he really is the top leader of Hamas, but also the diplomatic face of Hamas. Uh, he's been a leader since 2017. He lives outside of the Gaza Strip in Qatar, shuttling between Qatar and Turkey, as well as meeting Iranian officials for talks. He's able to travel around because he's not inside the Gaza Strip. He's also safe from airstrikes because of that. Uh, now, it's really up to him what happens in the negotiations. Of course, he is uh, going back and forth with other leaders of Hamas, but really, he, he came out and he said after the strikes that uh, this would not affect uh, the negotiations, but really, his, this is uh, the, the biggest loss for him since the conflict started. Uh, this latest conflict. So it really uh, it remains to be seen whether or not this will have an effect on those negotiations, which uh, for all intents and purposes uh, lie in his hands. I mean, he's if reporting that now Muslims around the world have been marking Eid, the end of the holy month of Ramadan, traditionally observed with three days of celebration. This year's festivities are overshadowed by the Israel Hamas war in Gaza, where Palestinians are facing critical shortages of food, water and medicine. Praying alongside the ruins. The white minaret is all that's left from this mosque in Rafah. The rest of the building was destroyed during an Israeli offensive in February. Last Eid, I was surrounded by my children, looking at them with joy. But today I am injured, unable to move or go anywhere. This Palestinian mother has come to the grave of her son on the first day of Eid. I wish he was here with me. He would go to the mosque in the morning and say to me, prepare my present for when I return. He's gone. Everything good is gone. More than six months into the war, the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says over 33,000 people have been killed most of them civilians. Thousands remain unaccounted for. In the occupied West Bank, worshippers also kept Gaza in their aid prayers. DW spoke with the head of a relief organization in Ramallah. Over the last six months, and now we are entering the seventh uh, month, we are calling for, for the aid, sustained aid entry to Gaza. The needs are massive, and every day that passes and go on, we see the more needs that are growing. UN experts say 1.1 million people, half the population, are experiencing catastrophic food insecurity. With the humanitarian crisis getting worse, Israel's closest allies are voicing more criticism by the day. U.S. President Joe Biden told U.S. Spanish-language broadcast network Univision that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's approach was a, quote, mistake. I don't agree with his approach. I think it's outrageous. There's no excuse to not provide for the medical and the, and the, and the, and the food needs of those people. They should be done now. Israel said it allowed a record number of aid trucks into Gaza since the war began on the eve of the holiday. But Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu recently insisted no force in the world would stop Israeli troops from entering Rafah. That's where most Gazans have gone to avoid the fighting. But Israel's military also insists Gaza's southernmost city is harboring the remaining battalions of Hamas, whose October 7 terror attacks in Israel started the war. German airline Lufthansa says it has temporarily suspended its flights to and from Iran's capital, Tehran, due to what they call the current situation in the Middle East. The airline says it is in contact with authorities and monitoring the situation. 
Israel and the United States are on high alert and preparing for a possible attack by Iran against military and government targets in response to a suspected bombing by Israeli warplanes off the Iranian consulate in Syria 10 days ago.